and welcome back to Books and All the Glitter. Okay guys, so today on Books and All the Glitter, we are going to do my first drawing video. Oh my goodness. So I'm not like a Picasso, but I think I'm pretty good. So yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay, so let's just get right into the video. Oh, this was so hard to prop up my phone so you guys could actually see, like, as I was drawing. So, I hope this goes well. Thanks. Okay, guys. I'm here. And we're ready. So, let's just get started. Okay. So, I have my reference right here. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but I have a reference and it is my drawing that I drew yesterday for one of my friends, for my one of my best friends' birthdays and you're probably watching this right now, so shout out to you, you know who you are. And um, I'm just going, I have been debating between drawing all three of us or just drawing me. I'm not being selfish, just saying. So... I think I'm gonna draw all three of us. So let's start with the middle person. So since this is bigger, I can draw this bigger. So I'm not very good at drawing bigger. I'm used to drawing on a medium size paper. But I wanted to draw on a big paper. Hey guys, so right here I am just drawing the hair. And then I will be drawing the torso, which I will be redrawing. Yep. And drawing again and then I'm drawing the V of the beginning of the bottom of, of the top of the pants and then, then I will just do the regular you know like shape of the pants as you see I'm doing right here and guess what it looks like a hair torso and a basket and my laughing yes a basket like a purse or something no one knows right here I'm just drawing all the details on the pants like the line in the middle the pockets and the details on the pockets and you know things like that so I just drew the knees and the knees I didn't do as many times as I did for the next step but the knees, you know, they're knees, so they weren't that hard. No one knows what I'm saying, so, yeah. But I'm just doing the shadows now, the shadows, because, you know, everyone has a shadow. So I'm just doing the shadows, and now we are starting the part that was the hardest for me, the arms. So the these arms, just caution, I did them like 60 times, because I didn't like them. They were too, they were too small or something like that. And I do say um, that I don't like stick arms. No one has stick arms, okay? So that's why I'm going to redo them. See, that's right. And um, no one has stick arms. And if you have really tiny arms, you are still beautiful just the way you are. But I literally drew them like twigs. So, you know, that makes no sense. Guys. So now I am going to start my other friend, Trixie. Shout out to you. I'm going to start her, and I'm starting with her hair. She has shorter hair, so, and she's also the shortest of all of us, no offense, but she is, so I made sure that she was shorter. Um, and she has shorter hair also, so she, so I drew her short with shorter hair. So I drew the torso, and now I am drawing the pants, and yeah, we will be back after. Yeah, so if you were copying me as you can see I'm doing the shadow before 
I finish doing the pants and then I try to fix the pants with the shadow. Do not do that. That was one of the mistakes that I made in this drawing. Do not do the shadow before you finish perfecting the actual pants. Okay? Okay. So right here I'm drawing her knees and I felt like she looked weird without her arms showing. So I'm not sure why, but I just felt like it. So I made like her elbows coming out like she had her arms on her knees or something like that so yeah and i already did the details on the pants i just forgot to say it so yeah it's the same thing as the other girl so yeah So right here I'm just perfecting you know the pants and things like that redoing the things I didn't like and now nope not now wait for it okay still perfecting you know we'll be back when I'm done perfecting Right here, I'm just saying that my desk is not usually white, so I have a bunch of paper under it because I painted my desk. So, yeah. But right now, I'm moving on to me, my favorite person. Um, and I'm and I'm only it's only my favorite person because I really like how my hair turned out and yeah it just made me really happy so yeah I'm my favorite person <laughs> so my hair took the longest because my hair you actually had to fill in to actually make it look like my hair so my hair took the longest but you know this whole video sped up so yeah So now I'm just talking about how the hair was my idea because in the picture that I found on Safari, it um it looked different, like the hair, but like the setup was the same, but I changed a lot of the drawing when I drew it. So yeah, so right now I'm just adding, you know, all the details in the hair, all the little frizzies, frizzies, that made no sense, frizzies, but... <laughs> I'm just adding all the, you know, the details. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now I'm adding the little crossy thing that goes in my hair. Not really sure what that's called. But, yeah. Okay, so I just did the torso. And now I'm drawing the little toppy thingy. I'm not really sure what it's called. Like, the V thing that I keep drawing. In the middle the sack you know <laughs> the details all the same there's me getting upset about the bottom and there's my little pinguini eraser so <laughs> i erase everything except for the hair because I was mad about it. And the nose kept falling off of the penguin. So yeah. And I'm redrawing everything. How nice is that?
can't believe myself. I just redid the pants all over again. I do not make any sense. I'm just watching myself redo everything over and over and over again. And I do not understand why. You guys have to watch me redo things over and over and over and over and over again. You guys, time to color! Yay! So this is my coloring thing. And I gave it to my mom one day, then my sister took it, and then I took it from my sister. So, yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of taking. So, I was thirsty, so, drinking my water. Okay, next, we are going to start coloring. So, right here, I am starting with the inside of her hands, which is a heart, and I'm just coloring in the inside, you know. Hearty, hearty, heart, 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 heart. So now I'm just picking another color. Um, yellow, because the tips of Trixie's hair is blonde, and that's the closest I had to yellow. So the rest of her hair is brown, so now I am grabbing a brown and just coloring and shading and blending. Okay, so now we are done with her hair. Yes, yes. And now we are starting her shirt, I think. My hand is blocking it. I am so sorry. No, no, no. We're not doing her shirt. Wait, are we? Oh, my goodness. My hand is really annoying. I'm so sorry, guys, that you guys can't see what I'm doing. Okay, we just did her shirt. Yes, that's that. Yes, I was right. We were doing her shirt, and it's a nice purplish color. And so, yeah. I just did her belt and as you can see I am starting her pants so now I'm choosing this one is a French blue which I will be using a lot in this coloring you know thing in my jig and this one so yeah so now we are just going to use this one and I am testing it out first to see if that's what I want because that is my English studying paper that I used to need and now I don't need and so yeah as you can see that's what it looks like that's what it did look like and now I'm choosing my other blues this one that's what that one looks like I'm not sure what color is that oh I can't see because I keep moving it but that's another blue that's a purple ish so y'all so I'm um, every single jean pants are going to be a different so you can see the different ways to do jeans and how jeans can look very different depending on how you color them in and now I am sharpening 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 getting annoyed because it keeps breaking sharpening sharpening getting even more annoyed there we go so now I am just lining out the pants like the little line in the middle 
and as you can see I am as I just pointed to I am doing the top above the belt like the beginning of the pants I'm not sure what that's called but like the beginning of the pants right above where yeah see right there that that's the part I'm not sure what it's called and now I am starting the pockets with the French blue so yeah we're just gonna color in the pockets that's pretty simple simple why I say it like that now I grabbed another purplish color except it's not as dark as the other one and now I'm just lightly coloring the whole rest of the pants Right there, I just used the French blue and went over the purple that I just used, just to, you know, add, sh add sh some detail. And now, that's a very light blue. I do not recall, recall, wow, remember what it was called. <laughs> and I'm adding even more color. You know, color's good. Use color, just not too much. If you are trying to get the realisticness, I'm not sure if that's a word. Now I'm talking. No one knows about what, though. I'm cho choosing the blues or the, the yellow. Why am I choosing the yellow? What am I doing? I think I'm adding to her hair. Wow, I do not rem remember, recall, recall doing this. Oh, I was just coloring in her legs. I was trying to find a peach because I didn't have a peach because her legs, well, I mean, her skin is like peachish and I didn't have a peach. So I started using different ones and now I am doing even more shading because it looks weird. Yeah, so now I'm fixing myself. And now I am going to start picking out the colors for the next pair, uh, no, for Cecilia, the middle girl, her skin, I think, yes, because she has a light tan skin, not, like, really dark black, but, like, a light tan, and I'm pretty sure that's for her skin, or is that for her hair? I think, yeah, that's for her arms, so yes, her skin. So I just did her knees and her arms, and now I am starting to do, um, I was starting to erase all the things that I didn't want that were there, you know, perfectionist and everything, and erase that. So now we are using a new brown for her hair, right, or for her arms. Am I coloring over her arms? Wow. Yes, I am coloring over her arms. Shh. Yes, bam. And now I'm doing her hair, yes. Right? Yes, now I am doing her hair. So yeah. That's that. So I just left because I needed to go do something not, do not recall what. Oh yeah, I was checking the camera. I was trying to zoom it in more. Sorry. So yeah, that's why it's all zoom. <laughs> I just like moved the camera so much. Sorry. I probably should have stopped the camera. But yeah, now I'm just sitting there. And now drumming making my own sound effects oh and okay back to the dreams finally so now this blue does not have a name so i was just showing it to you so you guys could see and right now i am doing the middle line and the top because the middle girl cecilia does not have a belt 
so I just did all the like you know the lines and stuff like yeah like the middle lines and then the two sets of lines that are coming out of it as you can see and now I'm going back to the French no I'm trying every blue that's there now I'm going to grab that purple that I used for her shirt I think for Trixie's shirt and I'm just going to grab that and now I am coloring coloring it you know through and through it kind of looks like a purple on the outside but it looks like a blue when you color it might be a blue so like a really light blue and then I'm using a darker blue to color the pockets and now what am I grabbing now I'm sharpening a pencil so okay so now I am using a red why did I use a red oh I was using a pink to color her shirt I'm sorry and now I'm going on to myself. I used yellow, my favorite color, to color my shirt. And then, now I'm using a brown to color my skin. And, let's see, what am I gonna do next? Now, I'm grabbing the yellow. And this is where I leave to sharpen. So just enjoy staring at my thing. Okay, so I have the blues that I'm going to use for the shorts, and now I have the no-named blue, which I'm sharpening in my hand. I have the French blue, and I have the, um, and then I have the light blue. With these blues, I'm going to first finish sharpening the no-named blue. Then I'm going to use the no name blue and I'm going to color the top part, you know, like we always did before. Then I'm going to grab the French blue and color that little scrunchy part that you see, like the ones with the lines. Not really sure what that's supposed to be, but it is. And then I used the no name blue again and I colored the middle line. Then I used, then I am using the light blue and coloring around all the pockets, you know, all that big space right there. And then I'm using again the no named blue for something. Or am I changing it? No, I'm using it for, or not using it, okay. Now I'm using the, the purple for the inside of the pockets, you know, the inside layer. And then I'm going to be using the other purple. No, the, fr the French blue, right? Yeah, the French blue for the outside of the pockets. I am grabbing the browns for the hair and I am using this light brown to just color everywhere on the hair very lightly you know just covering the whole surface very lightly like that and then I'm using the darker brown and like just giving little strokes everywhere just to you know give it some a texture or whatever you're supposed to call it um, and then grab it and going back in with the light brown you know coloring over again then I'm grabbing the yellow for the scrunchie and was just fixing the shirt a little bit and the pants, you know, fixing all the little things that I find that I don't really like anymore. And now I am signing the picture because it is done and that is my artist signature where, where I, is what I use to sign all of my drawings. And then I write the date and you know, yeah.
I guess. So that was my attempted. Ooh. Attempted montage. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys get some inspiration. I love you guys. Please like and subscribe. And have an awesome week and day and life. Love you guys. Bye. Hey guys. So it is late right now. But I just wanted to show you this amazing, amazing drawing that I did. And I am really, really proud of it. So I wanted to show you guys. And comment down below if you guys want a tutorial on how to do it. So yeah. Okay, so this is the drawing. I'm just kidding. So, ready? Three, two, one. No joke, guys. I drew that all by myself. I am just so proud of myself. Like, wow. Because, like, I've never drawn anything that good. Ah, oh, that hurt. So, yeah, it's really late, so I'm not going to talk for long. I just wanted to show you guys because, yeah. So, yeah. Love you guys. Bye.